Hi everybody, sometimes native speakers don't know what to say when a friend or colleague shares some bad news, so it can be even more challenging for non-native speakers. In this lesson, I'll teach you what to say in these difficult situations. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell. So, what do we say when someone tells us some bad news? Let's start with some informal ways to react. The following examples are for friends or colleagues where the news is bad but not terrible. So imagine your colleague arrives at work and he's in a bad mood. Here's how the conversation might go. Hi, what's up? My car broke down on the way to work. Oh no, that's such a pain. Yeah, I just got off the phone to the mechanic and the repairs are going to cost a fortune. Really? Sorry to hear that. So in this dialogue, the reaction to the bad news is, that's such a pain. This is a very common way to react to news like this. You could also say, oh no, that's so annoying. And we also have a nice phrase in this dialogue, to cost a fortune. The repairs are going to cost a fortune, which means cost a lot of money. Great, now let's practice the dialogue together. You take the role of you and I'll take the role of Doris. As soon as you see the dialogue, you can begin. Let's try it. My car broke down on the way to work. Yeah, I just got off the phone to the mechanic and the repairs are going to cost a fortune. Great, now let's look at a second example. In this example, a colleague has had to cancel a weekend trip because his wife has to work on an important project. Why the long face? My wife just told me we have to cancel our trip this weekend because she has to work. Really? That's such a pity. I know, we were really looking forward to it. Well, hopefully you can take another trip soon. So this dialogue starts off with an interesting question, why the long face? This is an informal way to ask someone why they look sad or disappointed. Why the long face? And then we have the reaction to the bad news, that's such a pity. And again, this is a very common way to react to news like this, that's such a pity. You can also say, that's very disappointing, or that's so disappointing. Great, so again we'll practice the dialogue together. You take the role of you and I'll take the role of Pablo. As soon as you see the dialogue appear, you can begin. Let's try it. My wife just told me we have to cancel our trip this weekend because she has to work. I know, we were really looking forward to it. And now we'll move on to some more formal ways of reacting to bad news. The following examples can be used with colleagues, customers or business partners when the news is quite bad. So first example, imagine one of your business partners tells you that his company have lost one of their biggest clients. So how's business? Not great to be honest, we just lost one of our biggest clients. Oh, that's terrible news. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, thanks. There's nothing we can do about it. Well, hopefully you'll win another big client soon. So the reaction here is, oh, that's terrible news. A common way to react to bad news in a formal situation. If you want to emphasize and make it stronger, you can add absolutely. That's absolutely terrible news. You could also say, oh, how terrible. 
Okay, and now we'll practice that dialogue together. You take the role of you, and I'll take the role of Maggie. Let's try it. Not great, to be honest. We just lost one of our biggest clients. Yeah, thanks. There's nothing we can do about it. And now we look at a second example of reacting to bad news in a formal situation. A colleague tells you that her husband has lost his job. Are you okay? Not really, to be honest. My husband just lost his job. Oh, that's awful news. Sorry to hear about that. I know, he had been with that company for over 20 years. I don't know what we're going to do. That must be very hard. Please let me know if there's anything I can do. So the reaction here is, that's awful news. Again, very common for this kind of news. You could also say, how awful. In the last part of the dialogue we have, that must be very hard, which is a common way to show sympathy. You could also say, that must be very difficult, or that must be very sad. And then we have, please let me know if there's anything I can do. This is a very polite and friendly way to offer help in a bad situation. And now we'll practice that dialogue together. You take the role of you and I'll take the role of Bianca. Not really, to be honest. My husband just lost his job. I know, he had been with that company for over 20 years. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll move on now and take a look at some ways to react to very bad or shocking news. Imagine one of your colleagues tells you that his wife wants a divorce. I hope you don't mind me asking, but is everything okay? Well, um, my wife told me last night that she wants a divorce. Oh, that's awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it at all. Well, any time you need to talk, just let me know. At the start of this dialogue, we have, I hope you don't mind me asking, but is everything okay? This is a very polite and sensitive way to ask someone if everything is okay. So here you can use that's awful or how awful as in the dialogue before. You could also use terrible. Anytime you need to talk, just let me know. This is similar to the last dialogue, another nice way to offer help. Anytime you need to talk, just let me know. And once again, time to practice together. You take the role of you, I'll take the role of Kevin. Well, um, my wife told me last night that she wants a divorce. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it at all. And now for our final example. Your boss tells you that your colleague's mother has just died. So you want to express your sympathy. Hi Nina, I just heard the news. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. If you need anything, I'm here for you. So in this very short example, we have, I'm so sorry for your loss. This is a very common way to respond when you hear that a family member or someone close to a person has died. You could also say, please accept my condolences. This is slightly more formal. This is something that we often write in cards, but you can also say it. Another thing you could say is, I can't imagine how you must be feeling. Or you can also use the same examples as before. Please let me know if there's anything I can do. 
And sometimes in these situations, when you don't have time to think and you really don't know what to say, it's perfectly okay to say, I really don't know what to say, I'm so sorry. And now for the last time in this lesson, we'll practice together. You take the role of you and I'll take the role of Nina. Thank you. That brings us to the end of another lesson. I hope you found it helpful. All of the vocabulary phrases and dialogues are in the description below. If you liked the lesson, hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And don't forget to join my email list. Every two weeks, I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news, and everyday English for you to learn. So check it out, the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.